to get into the cannabis industry can start applying for licenses. Jamie DeLine reports. Next Wednesday, October 4th, is the day when those who want to grow, sell, or distribute marijuana can send in an application online through the state's Office of Cannabis Management website. Our goal as the state, as written in our law, is to issue about um, half of our licenses to folks who are in this social uh, uh, and economic equity groups. Um, but we will also be accepting licenses from uh, anyone who would like to participate in this opportunity-rich market. The Office of Cannabis Management says by allowing additional stores, this will help farmers sell a surplus of product that has been grown in the state. We do want to set aside some licenses for people who have locations that qualify and are ready to go to ensure that we can get um, the biomass that our growers, the incredible biomass, incredible cannabis flower that our growers have produced um, sold as quickly as possible. By buying marijuana through legal stores, Joe Bellick, chairman of the Cannabis Advisory Board, says a portion of every dollar spent goes into a fund to be reinvested in New York State communities. Right now, there's about uh, $4 million, uh, we think, from the first sales up until this point. But I, I think given what we're seeing and the, and the likelihood um, of increased sales, more retail locations, um, you know, we're we're probably looking um, upward of 10 or 15 million dollars at least a year that um, we'll have to give out. It could be much more than that. The Cannabis Advisory Board is in the early stages of determining which organizations will be granted money. It's expected to be distributed around the spring or summer of next year. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. It's estimated.